Let's continue with some construction eh, using our mathematical tools like a protractor, um, a compass and a ruler. And in my previous videos I've constructed triangles eh, using these tools which was beautiful. You can find those resources all by the way on my site explainingmaths.com. Yeah? Everything for free. Okay, what are we going to do now? We are going to construct a parallelogram. Yeah, we all know what a parallelogram looks like and what the properties are. Um, the parallelogram ABCD in which AB is 7 centimeters, AD is 4 centimeters and angle DAB 60 degrees. Okay, so the important information, AB is four, or sorry, AB is seven centimeters, AD is four centimeters, and we have an angle of 60 degrees. Well, let's start with that base AB, seven centimeters. So with my sharp pencil, and I don't have a sharp pencil, but you do, and my ruler, I draw a line of seven centimeters. And I'm going to pretend that each of these squares is one centimeter long, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, okay? And I label it AB, seven centimeters. Okay, there we go, seven centimeters. Then I continue. AD is four centimeters, okay? Um, now, from A to D is four centimeters, well that could be in all directions still. I could now use with my compass, open it on four centimeters, draw the arc, and then I know point D should be somewhere on that arc. However, perhaps it's better to say, or to draw this angle first, because they say DAB, so that's the angle at point A, is 60 degrees, yeah? So the angle at this point should be 60 degrees. So let's, let's, let's draw that angle, 60 degrees, um, which is an acute angle, so in this direction, eh, I show you in different videos how to do that. So, I could say, well, point D lies somewhere on this line. Yeah, point D lies somewhere on that line. Why? Because this is 60 degrees. And they say that AD, the length of A to D is four centimeters. So again, now I can take my ruler measure four centimeters, yeah, and in a 60 degree angle, there we go, four centimeters, and that is point D over there. Beautiful. Properties of a parallelogram you should be familiar with is that this line is parallel with that line and this line is parallel with that one, okay? So there are two things I can do now. I could draw a parallel line here, seven centimeters, but as you can see, that is not very accurate. Eh? My, my ruler is already moving. Yeah? So perhaps better is to draw here an angle of how many degrees, how many degrees should this angle be? Does it go this direction or in that direction? Parallelogram, it's in that direction. So it should be 120 degrees, yeah? Because this angle plus the 60 should add up to 180. So I'm going to put it on 120 degrees, which is an obtuse angle. And I'm going to draw the dotted line, and then I realize that point C should be how many centimeters away from point B? Four centimeters, fantastic. All right, so I'm going to, again, measure four centimeters. There we go, beautiful. And you do all of this with a sharp pencil, eh? Uh, that's gonna be point C, four centimeters. Try to label as much as you can, eh? it's always nice to show the values of your lengths, to show the values of or the sizes of your angles. And then finally, I'm going to accurately connect these two points. Boom, beautiful. What a beautiful parallelogram. What great to work with these tools, yeah, these mathematical tools and to create something accurately. Okay. Um, like and share this if it was useful, yeah? I can help your friends too then. And check my site explainingmaths.com for all my resources, yeah? You can also ask me any questions you have there on my forum and I will help you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.